top spin. Yeah, I made a shot. I made a shot. And you see that if I had hit too thin on the one ball, cue ball would have had more speed and stopped further away. Hit it too thin this time. Like that. You see, opponent is snookered behind the eight because that was a possibility when missing the shot. I had to miss and hit the eight ball with the, with the one ball. Like that. And now the eight ball got pushed into the rail and back, left opponent snookered behind the eight. It is the best choice. And if you miss the that is perfect. If you miss the one ball in the side, one ball goes here and the cue ball is behind the eight ball. So I need extreme left spin here. I hit it too thin, but you see the cue ball goes over here. Ooh, 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 <laughs> you saw that? I will show you now how, how not to make this shot. How, how to make it very soft and leave the opponent an easy shot. There you go, you see, perfect example here how to not make that kick shot, to shoot soft and rely on making the ball. And 99% of the time you will not make the one, you will leave the opponent a shot like this. 99% of the time and you want to avoid that. You want to avoid that from happening. You, you might as well uh, forfeit the game if you're going to make a very soft kick shot. You want to make, sh you want to shoot hard here. There you go, put some distance between the balls. And you might get away with that miss. Oh, opponent is snookered behind the two ball, you see? Just from shooting the kick shot hard, you will leave the opponent snookered. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello. So I haven't, I haven't played for three weeks and I'm a little rusty, but that is the point of pool. That you need to find a way how to win when playing bad. Nobody can uh, play tournaments when playing their best. There happens one, one day of the year when you play very good, when you make everything on the table, but you can't rely on being in stroke every day. You need to rely on a strategy and how to beat the game when not playing your best. So you need to find the correct way to play when you are playing bad, you are not, you are not making all the balls that you would make uh, normally. So this is a good uh, example that uh, don't play for a long time and then try to use a strategy to beat the game. Okay, so I, I will remove the cover here. Always if you don't play for a long time, put a cover on the table, otherwise the cloth will get dusty. So I will remove the cover and I will start my first my first rack so I will room I will remove it now okay so I have removed it I don't know where I will put it so I'm gonna go to the other room I have the microphone here so you can hear me when I go to the other room so I'm going to open the room here And I will close. I will close the door. So now I will go back. I'm back now. So now you see that I have not edited. I have not cut anything from this video. So you can see that uh, I am uh, playing when cold. Where's my glove? Where is my glove? I have lost my glove. Here, in, in the pocket. It was in the pocket. So now I will take up the balls from, uh, from the pockets and I will rack 
the balls. So this is going to be my first rack in uh, three weeks. Three weeks without playing and uh, this is purely strategy that I'm going to use because I'm not able to stroke the balls good. So let's see what will happen. So first in the first in the break shot you want to you don't have any you can't stroke hard at all in the break shot if you haven't played for a long time. So what, what I recommend is you follow through straight all the way to the one ball. The the cue should should stop here, a little past the middle of the table. So I, I will do that. Let the cue stop past the center of the table. Like that. This is where the cue stopped, just a little further than the center. And you, you got great speed on the cue ball when you did that. Now, I didn't make any any balls in a break that uh, that usually happens if you if you haven't played for a long time you don't make good breaks in, from the beginning so now now comes a tough shot you can make a bank shot of the one ball into the side pocket and that's a quite risky shot and normally if you haven't played for a long time you want to make a safety in the beginning but I can't see a good safety is the bank shot possible in, in the corner? So I think it is. It could be. It could be makeable, but uh, I need to hit the one ball on that spot, and then you aim with the cue. No, the five ball is in the way. The five ball is in the way of the bank shot into the corner. The only bank shot available is into the side pocket. So. The problem here is you might get a double kiss with the cue ball. The cue ball might hit the one ball twice. First, the, it, will, it will hit the one, one ball and the one ball will hit, will hit the rail and then the one ball might hit the cue ball on the way out. So that's a risky, risky shot. And uh, I can't really see... Yeah, you, you can actually avoid the double kiss by using side spin and I'm going to hit uh, to avoid the double kiss I need to hit thinner on the one ball so the cue ball will go away from the one ball so when you hit thinner on the one I need to uh, let the one ball have left spin to be able to go to the side pocket there so that is why I need right spin on the cue ball the opposite spin so with right spin on the cue ball, the one ball will get left spin. So now I have planned how to make the one ball in the side pocket. What about the position play? The cue ball is going to go in this, this di direction towards the four ball. If I use right spin on the cue ball, but if I also use low on the cue ball, the cue ball will go this direction all the way here and you get good position on, on, on the two ball. Also, if you miss the bank shot, if you miss the one ball in the side, the one ball might hit here and come out. The one ball might stop here and the cue ball might stop here and the, the opponent will be snookered be, be, be behind the eight ball. So that is the plan I have right now. And that is a, a shot to nothing. If I miss the shot, opponent will get nothing. So I'm going to attempt to do this shot. And also, there's, there's a small chance that you might hit the four ball on the left side. And if you hit the four ball on the left side, the cue ball will go to that direction and you have a good shot on the two ball. The problem is if, you, if the cue ball goes this direction, between the five and the four, then you, you get snookered behind the nine on the two ball. So that is something you want to avoid. So use a draw shot, right spin and the draw on the cue ball. So low, right spin. And I'm gonna do this shot. Let's see what happens. 
low right spin. Yeah. And now the one ball hit the two ball which changed the direction so the one ball went that way. If the one ball would not have hit the two ball, one ball would have gone this way and there was there would have been a chance to get a snookered behind the eight. So I'm going to do this shot again. Low right spin. Let's see, yeah. Opponent is opponent has a tough shot on the one ball. So that was a successful uh, shot there. The first shot since uh, three weeks ago. And the reason I shot it too thin was because I wanted to avoid the double kiss on the one ball. So I hit that a little too thin just to be certain. I'm going to make this shot again with even more right spin this time. To yeah, now I got the double kiss, but <laughs> I still made the one. You saw that I got a very, very thin double kiss on the one. And that is what I want to avoid, and that is why I, I used so much right spin. Now I'm going to do it again. There we go. I used a lot of right spin there. And you see, that was, ba that was bad luck. That was really bad luck that the, the cue ball scratched. And I will do this shot again. Low right spin. You see, I missed it. I missed the one ball there. And now opponent has a shot into the side pocket there. So that can happen also. And I'm going to show you another alternative how you can make this shot if you if you are afraid of the double kiss. That is, you you hit the one ball on the rail, the one ball hits the five, and goes into the side pocket. Okay, but then you don't get a shot on the two ball. But you you can draw back the cue ball into a tough place for the opponent. So I will show you that that alternative. Like that. And you see, I attempted to make the one ball in the side. Opponent gets a tough shot on the one. But, but if you had made the one ball, you would have got the tough shot on the two ball. So that didn't really solve anything. And I'm going to show you another variation of uh, what you can do on this shot. You can make a safety shot, a normal safety shot. Hit the one, one ball thin, one ball will go this way, stop somewhere there. Cue ball will go to the other side of the table, but cue ball might hit the four and leave the opponent an easy shot on the one ball. So I will show you how to make, uh, how, nor how people normally make this safety. Hit the four. Yeah, that was lucky, lucky, lucky hit on the four ball. I will make uh, the safety again. And I don't recommend you make a safety like this because the four ball is in the way. If the four ball was not there, then you could make a, a, a safety. So the cue ball would go to the other side, of, other side of the table. But because the four is in the way, the cue ball might stop on the four and leave the opponent an easy shot on the one ball. Like that, you see. Cue ball stopped in the center of the table, opponent has a shot on the one ball. So that was not a good safety. So you need to look at if there are balls in the way, in the way that they're blocking the possibility of a safety. And I will show you this safety again. Really tough. Double kiss, opponent gets a shot on the one ball. Whoops. Let me, let me do this safety again. So uh, this, this is a really tough position you have here because safety here is really, really tough. 
and you can't really do much with this safety. The, the one ball is going to go to the center of the table when you hit it thin. And you need to be lucky to get away with the, to get the safety. And, and I will do it again. And you see, safety here is really not a good idea. You rather want to have a chance to make the one ball instead of uh, hoping to get the safety. And this is a really tough uh, situation here. You can't really make easy safeties here. Really, really tough. So you want to go for the bank shot in the side pocket. And I'm going to show it again that it is it's the best choice. It is, it is the it is the best choice. And if you miss the... That is perfect. If you miss the one ball in the side, one ball goes here and the cue ball is behind the eight ball. So that is, that is the best choice you could make because then you, you had a chance to make the one. But if you only attempted a safety, uh, there would be no chance to make the ball. And you could leave the opponent an open table. But now at least I went for it, I, there was a chance to make the one ball. And now, because I missed the ball, opponent is snooked behind the eight. So now opponent has a really tough shot here on the one ball. And I can't make a kick shot because the nine ball is in the way of the path. So I need to make a kick shot from this uh, direction. And the problem here is when hitting the one ball, you can't uh, make a re-safety. The cue ball can't get behind any balls here. It is open here. So when the cue ball hits the one ball, one ball might hit the rail there. Cue ball will go here and opponent will have an easy shot on the, on the one ball. So what I do here is because there are no balls to get behind, I, need, I will shoot harder. I will try to get some distance between the balls. So if I hit the one ball, it will hit the rail there. It, it, there's a chance it will go into the, into the pocket there or it will, it will go around the table into safety here. And the cue ball might hit the one ball thin, hit the rail there and come back here to get behind some balls. So shooting this kick shot hard uh, is much better because you have more, there are more things that can happen after. And here I'm using a stop shot into the rail with the left spin, running English with the, uh, one tip of low on the cue ball. You see that? I missed. Oh, look at that. I didn't hit the one ball directly, but because I had enough speed on the cue ball, it went to the corner and back.